Hey guys, welcome back. So, I am going to make a video now uh, about frame rate, um, how to properly put in uh, to Sony Vegas like your video, how to know that the project settings are the right settings, all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> just to get right into it, here's what you're going to do. First, you're going to import, or you don't even have to input, import your footage. What I would want you to do first is go right here. So, basically, look. Over here, this is like where you're gonna see your video and stuff, right? Now, right here, you can see project video properties. Now, what that means is it's basically like the properties of the video that you plan to edit essentially, right? Maybe you know ahead of time what your frame rate is, what the size of the video is, etc. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that. Now, I have it customly set to this, right? This is my, my layout, right? But here's the thing. For you people that are starting off, what I want you to do is come right down here where it says adjust source media to better match project or render settings i'm telling you to do that because what this means is the second you import import your first footage of anything which preferably will be the footage you're about to edit uh it'll match sony vegas will automatically put the settings to the same exact settings that that footage has including the frame rate including the width and height uh, everything that way you know that you already have it automatically set for you and all you have to do now is worry about editing the video now what good does that do it's just basically it cuts out the middleman you don't have to manually put everything but it's good to know um, still how to check that stuff so what I would want you to do is you can always um, import your footage so let me open something up okay so let's say I'm about to edit this video right what you can do is you can right click on it go to properties and go to general and right here is where you can see, uh, you know, quite a good stuff. But the main thing is going to be in the media section, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the media, and right here is where you're going to see everything. So you notice, oh, okay, this video was uh, formatted to AVC. Uh, it's a 1920 by 1080. It's six minutes, five seconds long, and the frame rate is 24 frames per second. Now, again, that stuff is important because you wanted to make sure that your project settings is set to this because if not you're gonna see some lagginess you're gonna see some ghosting uh, and overall the way you edit the video is not gonna look good um, but here's the thing remember how I told you you can match it automatically by going here well look at this 1920 by 1080 24 frames a second it's all there so essentially overall what I'm getting at is you can match your video stuff right away simply by going there and that's a good shortcut because then also if you don't feel like going to the video or checking or let's say you forgot as long as you have it right here set to adjust source media you are set so hopefully that was a good shortcut now overall remember though guys if you don't have the properties okay set to the same frame rate of this video uh like let's say this video that i'm editing is supposed to be 24 frames a second and i go to 12 frames look at this frame rate number right here now you see it's on frame 552 Now if you go ahead and play it, you'll see how it's going 12 frames a second essentially, right? Now if I switch this over back to its original 24 frames a second, now essentially look at that. Now you see if you go back, you can see the light here coming out, right? Because again, you put it back to its original settings. Now again, let's go back to 12 frames. And you don't see that at all and why because again you took out half of the frames that the video was meant to produce and now you just lost some of the, the effects on it so that's what the importance is of having the frame rates correctly essentially you don't want to lose any quality in the video editing you don't want to lose any frames that you could potentially have and overall like i said you don't want to lose little things like that that's important so okay i did my best there uh sorry if it was a little quick but i think i got to it pretty nice and simple um, if not, let me know. I can always help you in the comment section or I can just do another one and kind of go more in depth. But essentially, that's what that is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and found it useful, well, I'm glad for one. Uh, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you didn't like it for whatever reason, go ahead and give it a dislike and then um, subscribe for more videos. So, alrighty, I'm going to get going. I'll see you guys later. Well, I'm not going to leave. I got to edit this anyway. I'm editing a video about me editing a video. I like that.